In theatre, gains against the Taliban has meant the need for one particular weapon isn't as great as it has been. The Royal Artillery's multi-launch rocket system was first deployed during Herrick 6 because it could launch single rounds with such accuracy it reduced the risk to civilians. But as Laura Hawkins reports, there's been a 90% reduction in the number of rockets fired in the last three years. This piece of artillery is the only capability out in theatre that can be used 24 hours a day, seven days a week and in all weather conditions. It copes with dust and sandstorms that may affect other weapon systems or prevent aircraft and helicopters from flying. When called upon, the airspace is cleared and the multi-launch rocket system can be ready to launch in under 10 minutes, aiming anywhere in Helmand within a 70 kilometre range from its location. The aim of this multi-launch rocket system is a 3-5 battery to assist those infantry troops when they're on the ground and come into contact. And with a 99.9 .9 accuracy rate to date, it's a very successful way to reduce collateral damage to the country. Uh, the benefit of this piece of kit is that um, it offers exactly that. It reduces collateral damage. There's less chance of uh, not only damaging property, but uh, hopefully winning some of the hearts and minds of the local nationals as well along the way. Um, but it still gives the infantry the support that they need out on the ground, um, both obviously ISAF and ANSF uh, call signs when, uh, when they call for our fire. Uh, we can hopefully break those contacts and uh, get them out of any situations they find themselves in. When troops on the ground need to call upon the MLRS, they'll relay a 14-figure grid reference. It's an extremely precise and accurate piece of kit, and all nine rounds that have been fired in the last six months have been successful missions. The low number of rockets fired also reflects the quieter tour that 3-5 battery have seen compared to previous times. In Op Herrick 9 and 10, around 100 rounds were fired over a six-month period. Uh, in 2009, yeah, it was uh, very kinetic. Uh, we were uh, firing quite a lot of rockets and supporting troops out on the ground. Uh, whereas this uh, tour, 2011, it's been a lot more hearts and minds. Uh, we haven't fired so many rockets, uh, just try, trying to support the Afghan uh, National Army and uh, support the country as a whole. Being called upon and preparing to launch may be noisy and busy at this end, but in the air it's a silent rocket and will land out of nowhere. As well as the physical impact, it also has a big psychological effect on the insurgents. For many of the 16-man troop here, using the MLRS in anger is a new experience. Their training back in Newcastle and Salisbury doesn't allow for a real-life launch. For 2nd Lieutenant Tom Sprigg, this is his first tour, and he's fresh out of training. Yeah, a great sense of satisfaction. I mean, if I go back a year ago, I was on uh, an infantry exercise in Brecon with Sandhurst. Um, and, you know, there are times when you're doing your training when you wonder what it's all about. And to actually come out here, be able to do the job, um, you know, work with the guys and work with this fantastic bit of kit, it's been awesome. It's been a successful and quieter tour for 3-5 Battery. And as they hand over to 132 Battery in the next few weeks, it's hoped that they'll also have the same experience. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Helmand.